Imagine a world where we can create huge amounts of energy, enough to power entire cities, industries, and homes without filling the air with pollution or greenhouse gases. Picture a future where our lights stay on, our cars run, and our technology thrives, all while the sky remains clear and blue. This is the vision behind clean energy, producing electricity on a massive scale, but without choking the sky with smoke or harming the environment. That's the promise of nuclear power. Unlike fossil fuels, nuclear plants don't release clouds of carbon dioxide or toxic chemicals. Instead, they quietly generate energy, with only clean steam rising from their towers. At the heart of this clean energy revolution is something truly remarkable, enriched uranium. This material is the secret ingredient that makes nuclear power possible. Think of enriched uranium as a supercharged battery packed with an incredible amount of energy. Just a small amount can produce enough power to light up entire cities, keep hospitals running, and fuel the technology we rely on every day. Nuclear reactors need a special kind of fuel to kickstart and sustain a chain reaction, releasing energy in a controlled way. That magic fuel is enriched uranium, carefully prepared to unleash its power safely. But how does a simple rock, buried deep within the Earth, transform into the beating heart of a nuclear power station? The journey from raw ore to powerful fuel is both complex and fascinating. It's a process filled with science, advanced technology, and strict safety measures at every step. From mining to processing, every stage is carefully managed to protect people and the environment. In this essay, we'll follow uranium's incredible journey, step by step, as it changes from a raw mineral into the fuel that powers our world. We'll see how uranium is dug from the ground by skilled miners using powerful machines then crushed into a fine powder and spun at lightning speed in high-tech centrifuges to separate and concentrate its energy-rich parts. Next, it's formed into tiny dense pellets, each one small enough to fit on your fingertip but powerful enough to help run a city. These pellets are packed into rods, ready to fuel the reactors. All of this effort results in a source of electricity that doesn't warm the planet or pollute the air. Nuclear energy is a key player in the fight against climate change, providing reliable power day and night. That's why enriched uranium is such a big deal for our future, a future where clean, safe, and abundant energy helps us build a better world for everyone. Uranium is a heavy metal found in rocks almost everywhere on Earth. It's a silvery gray element, and while it might look pretty ordinary at first glance, it holds some truly extraordinary secrets. For centuries, Uranium sat quietly in the ground, unnoticed and unused, until scientists discovered its unique properties. Today, it's one of the most important elements for generating energy. But not all uranium is the same. The kind we care about most is called uranium-235, or U-235 for short. Uranium actually comes in several different forms called isotopes, but U-235 is the superstar when it comes to nuclear energy. It's rare, like finding one special jelly bean in a whole jar of plain ones. Only about one out of every 140 uranium atoms is U-235. That means if you had a big pile of uranium, only a tiny fraction of it would be the kind we need for nuclear power. The rest is mostly another isotope, U-238, which behaves very differently. Here's why U-235 is amazing. When it's hit by a tiny particle called a neutron, it splits in two. This process is called nuclear fission. It's like breaking a stick in half but on an atomic scale, and with much more dramatic results. This fission releases a burst of energy, plus more neutrons. The energy comes out as heat and radiation, which can be harnessed to make electricity. The extra neutrons that are released can go on to hit other U-235 atoms, continuing the process. Those neutrons can split other U-235 atoms, creating a chain reaction. This chain reaction is what makes nuclear reactors possible. It's a self-sustaining process, where one split leads to another, and another, releasing huge amounts of energy from just a small amount of material. That's what happens inside a nuclear reactor. Fuel rods packed with uranium are arranged in the reactor core, and when the chain reaction starts, the heat produced is used to turn water into steam, which then spins turbines to generate electricity for our homes and cities. But there's a catch. Natural uranium doesn't have enough U-235 to keep a chain reaction going. In fact, only about 0.7% of natural uranium is U-235, which isn't enough to sustain the process needed for power generation. Most of it is U-238, which doesn't split as easily. U-238 can absorb neutrons, but it doesn't break apart and release energy the way U-235 does. 
That's why it's not useful for starting or sustaining a chain reaction in a typical reactor. That's why we need to enrich uranium to boost the amount of U-235 so it can power a reactor. Enrichment is a complex process that separates out more of the U-235 from the U-238, making the uranium much more effective as a fuel. Fun fact, just one uranium fuel pellet, about the size of a pencil eraser, can create as much energy as a ton of coal. That means a tiny amount of uranium can replace huge piles of fossil fuels, making it incredibly efficient for producing electricity. That's the power of U-235. It's a rare, remarkable atom that unlocks the energy hidden inside matter itself, helping to power our world in ways that were once thought impossible. The uranium story starts deep underground. Uranium ore is mined from the earth, often in remote places like Australia, Canada, and Kazakhstan. Miners dig up rocks that look pretty ordinary, but these stones are packed with hidden energy. Once the ore is above ground, it's crushed and ground into a fine powder. This powder is then treated with chemicals to pull out the uranium. The result is a yellowish powder called yellow cake. Despite the sweet name, yellow cake isn't cake at all. It's uranium oxide, and it's the first big step toward nuclear fuel. Yellow cake is put into sealed containers and shipped to the next stage of its journey. It's not ready to power anything yet, but it's much more concentrated than the original rock. Mining and milling are carefully controlled. Workers wear protective gear, and the environment is monitored to keep people and nature safe. Yellow cake can't go straight into a reactor. First, it has to be changed into a form that's easy to purify and enrich. This means turning the powder into a gas. This step happens at a special chemical plant. Yellow cake is mixed with chemicals to form uranium hexafluoride or UF6, a gas that can be handled at room temperature. UF6 is stored in strong steel cylinders that look like giant thermoses. When heated, the gas is ready for the next step enrichment. Turning solid powder into gas might sound like magic, but it's just chemistry. Gases are easier to separate based on their weight, which is key for the next stage. This is also the point where security ramps up. UF6 is valuable and needs to be watched closely. Only trained experts following strict rules handle this material. Now comes the most high-tech part of the entire nuclear fuel process, enrichment. This is where science and engineering truly come together in a fascinating way. Remember, natural uranium straight from the Earth doesn't have enough of the special isotope U-235 to power most nuclear reactors. In fact, it's mostly made up of U-238, which isn't very useful for making energy in a power plant. To make it useful, we need to increase or enrich the amount of U-235 from less than 1% up to about 3 to 5%. This small change makes a huge difference in how uranium behaves inside a reactor. The process starts by converting uranium into a gas called uranium hexafluoride, or UF6. This gas is then fed into these tall, high-speed spinning machines called centrifuges. These centrifuges are engineering marvels, spinning at thousands of revolutions per minute, so fast that the difference in mass between U-235 and U-238 actually matters. Inside each centrifuge, the heavier U-238 atoms are pushed outward by the force of the spin, while the slightly lighter U-235 atoms tend to collect closer to the center. This subtle separation is the key to enrichment, but one centrifuge isn't enough. The gas has to pass through a whole cascade, a series of thousands of centrifuges all working together. With each stage, the percentage of U-235 increases just a little bit more. Think of it like trying to separate ping pong balls from golf balls by spinning them in a salad spinner, except on a massive industrial scale and with atoms instead of balls. This process requires an incredible amount of precision, advanced technology, and constant monitoring by skilled engineers to keep everything running smoothly and safely. After enrichment, we finally have uranium with just the right amount of U-235, enough to sustain a safe, steady chain reaction inside a nuclear power plant, but not so much that it becomes dangerous to handle. With enrichment complete, the uranium is ready for its next big transformation, being shaped into fuel rods and loaded into a reactor where it will help generate clean, reliable electricity for thousands of homes and businesses. Enriched uranium gas isn't useful in a reactor. It has to be turned back into a solid, a job for fuel makers. First, uranium hexafluoride is changed into a black powder called uranium dioxide. This powder is pressed into small, hard pellets, each one about the size of a pencil eraser. 
These pellets are baked at high temperatures until they're as hard as ceramic. Then, hundreds of them are loaded into long metal tubes called fuel rods. Dozens of these rods are bundled together into fuel assemblies. Just one fuel pellet can provide as much energy as 17,000 cubic feet of natural gas or 1,780 pounds of coal. Imagine that, a tiny pellet with the power of a mountain of fossil fuel. The finished fuel rods are tough and sealed tight. They're ready to be shipped to power plants where they'll help generate electricity for millions of homes. Making enriched uranium isn't easy. It takes serious science, strict safety, and lots of rules. Workers must protect themselves from radiation and chemicals at every step. Factories use thick walls, air filters and sensors to keep everyone safe. Governments and international groups like the International Atomic Energy Agency watch closely. They make sure uranium is only used for peaceful energy, not weapons. Every gram is tracked from the mine to the reactor. Enriching uranium uses a lot of energy and high-tech equipment. Countries must also keep facilities secure to prevent theft or sabotage. Safety drills and emergency plans are always in place. All this care means nuclear fuel is one of the most carefully controlled energy sources on Earth. Nuclear power is clean, but it does leave behind some waste. When uranium fuel has given up most of its energy, it's called spent fuel. This spent fuel is still radioactive, so it must be handled with extra caution. First, spent fuel is stored in large pools of water. The water cools the fuel and blocks radiation. Later it might be moved to dry storage containers, giant concrete and steel casks that keep everything safe for decades. Scientists are always looking for better ways to handle nuclear waste. Some countries recycle old fuel to use again, others store it deep underground, far from people and water sources. Nuclear waste is a challenge, but with smart science and good planning, it can be managed safely for the long term. So, why does this all matter? Enriched uranium gives us a way to make huge amounts of electricity without burning fossil fuels. That means cleaner air, fewer greenhouse gases, and a healthier planet. Nuclear power is already running in many countries providing steady, reliable energy day and night. As we look for ways to fight climate change, it's a powerful tool alongside wind, solar, and hydro. Every step of uranium's journey, from mine to reactor, shows how science and safety work together. With care and innovation, we can tap the power inside the atom to light up the world. Next time you flip a light switch, remember, there might be a tiny uranium pellet, enriched and engineered, quietly powering your future. Will nuclear be part of our clean energy solution? That's a question for all of us to explore.